teachers have had an amazing experience stimulating our students in, the, in their classroom environment. It's a safe space for students to bring to life their innovative ideas and share their creative thoughts and just collaborate with their classmates. I've been excited to learn everything in STEM camp and to learn about kinetic energy is when an object or a marble is in, in movement and potential energy is when an object or a marble, marble is getting ready to be moved. STEM camp is allowing the students to get even more practice with being able to use those tiered up vocabulary words in order to communicate. Learning from each other is a good thing to start with because if people don't get something, somebody else who does get it can help them understand. A lot of students come with a lack of experience with science. We had kindergartners and first graders and even second graders create robots using a closed circuit, which they don't learn about until they get to fifth grade. And I think it's very, very important that they are starting this at this age because these kids are going to continue to grow and have an opportunity to, to go into the STEM fields and be successful in, uh, in, in, in not just community but in our world. Having the interns that we had come out this summer, it was amazing. They got to see what it's like to not only produce food, but then to have a hub, Atlanta Harvest, that's where the food's able to be sold at. I have a year of gardening experience and it, it was the most wonderful thing that I've done and it really got me interested in agriculture as a permanent career option. So many doors are open because of this coding camp. I've heard the girls and some of the um, guys as well say that they're ready to go into coding now. Uh, some of the kids are thinking about video games now, more, th more so than just playing them, but actually coding them and creating their own video games. Um, I'd say my favorite part about like learning in STEM is the technology aspect because other fields are rapidly like expanding, but technology is the one that's expanding the most. I mean, cameras, computers, different things, you know, they're only going to get better with time. By the students participating in this seven-day STEM camp, um, they were exposed to many different things that they wouldn't have been exposed to during the school year. In the classroom, I was not um, particularly interested in science and biology, but the camp definitely opened up my eyes to more of a you could also do this and have fun type thing. It incorporated all parts of STEAM rather than the classroom just doing, you know, curriculum and activities. One thing that's really beneficial is that the students are in a smaller setting, so they get more more one-on-one -on -one attention and more assistance when they need it. Throughout the whole classroom, you can see there's a nice, vibrant community going on. That our instructor is helping us learn while we're building, and there's just a lot of movement and activity is very lively and it's really never quiet. So I will, I worked with the younger kids most, most of the time. The camp was Think It Design It and we was doing a solar power water heater and a gravity light. They build things and they have to find strategies for the, student, the kids in Africa and stuff so they can have fresh clean water. Uh, I just shadowed them and helped them or when they had a question or they wanted to think what was the best way to do something, they would ask me or I would tell them, well, I think this probably way, this way would probably be better. But mainly, they was kind of teaching me stuff too. Some of the projects that they was building, I, they had ideas that I wouldn't even have. So basically, we lean on other people's knowledge also on top of ours. It just like pulls us together, you know. Reaping and sowing uh, is very powerful and it is a concept that everyone at every level can understand. So they're able to understand leaving a legacy for those that will come after. You can't just have one batch going at a time. You have to ensure the future harvest. So I really just want to thank the Clayton County School Board for making this possible. This isn't something that I had ever expected to take part of, but I'm very thankful that they pushed this program and that I took the jump into accepting it.